are having kind of like a, a chill Saturday. It's like the first like really cold day of the season. And we did this, what was it, two years ago? Probably. I yeah. think so. We made like a big batch of chili, which I never grew up making homemade chili. So mm -hmm. Graham was like the expert. We threw it all together. So we thought we'd make just like a, a nice little uh, video of what we're doing. So just kind of light a candle, get a sweater on if you kind of want to vibe with us and just have like a nice stay at home chilly day. And if you see something on my lip, it is not a spider. I had a mole removed, so I got some stitches in there. Go get everything checked up, guys. That's your daily reminder. So hopefully everything is good with that. But what is kind of like the first step that we're gonna do? Um, I just wanna chop everything up, kind of get it all ready to go. Yeah, we got the slow cooker. We got the veggies and some beans, beans. Also, we got a new coffee pot today and that has been we're obsessed with it already. Super vibey. And then also, I'm making some bread. everything and the chopping. I'm just browning the turkey. Um, so we were planning for this at work. We we're having a work Halloween party and we were trying to figure out like what would be the food to be served. Do you have- For a, Halloween? Yeah. What would you, like, did you guys have a staple meal you ate? Like growing up? Yeah, on or... Halloween night. Like it, there's like, you know, like Thanksgiving has the meals and Christmas does, but there's not like a like a, yeah. a meal that you eat at Halloween that's uh, like a staple. Snickers. <laughs> yeah, but for dinner. I know, I don't know. We would always do, um, I don't remember if we did. We would do chili dogs and chili mac, which everyone at work is also giving me crap about. Um, we would do like- St. Louis thing really, right? I don't know. I mean, yeah. Steak and Shake chili has, mac. like chili mac for us is like spaghetti noodles with chili on top. Like if you go to Steak and Shake and you they have chili mac there, that's what they serve. Did but, they have that everywhere or was it like a St. Louis, like a local? I mean, the Steak and Shakes here would do it too, I'm pretty sure. I, mean, I haven't been to Steak and Shake nice. in a while. I am browning the turkey. And then Graham loves this tool. I hate it because like the meat gets like caught up in the grooves. Let's see if I can. That's your pampered chef plug. Yeah, yeah. And then we also made like a bunch of potatoes. We're really into uh, meal prepping right now. We have been doing that for years. It makes it easy for like during the week. You just like take a potato and then we'll have a bunch of like ground beef. And then you just like have a side, you have your meat and then you're good for the day. You're like million different ways you can prepare it. Like mm -hmm. the, I really like that lettuce boat thing. Yeah, Graham made us so lettuce good. boats. Are there any ingredients like if someone made chili, you'd be like, Ugh. I don't think some people, so. Like, isn't there a whole argument about beans or no beans in chili? I've heard that. Oh, I mean, you can get so, chili without beans, like the can, but, but that's what makes is it. Is it even chili? At that I know. Point? That's I, my hot take. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of mushrooms in, in Ew, anything, but I don't know if people put mushrooms in chili. Know. It's kind of a stew thing, but I don't like yeah. mushrooms either. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm not too picky usually. Graham doesn't like celery, which I think is I crazy, don't. but he'll be. I don't mind it in like chili or something when it's cooked, you yeah. know, thoroughly, but. Growing up, I would, uh, my parents would always do, you know, the celery stick with peanut butter. Yeah, ants on a log. I would eat the, oh, like, raisins or something. Yeah, raisins uh, yeah. on peanut butter. You never did that? Um, we did that at school. I didn't really like raisins that much either. Oh, no. But, um, He's picky. I'm not really. He's not picky. super picky. Like, no, I'm sure you, you eat more than I eat. 
Like you have a wider. It's a, I don't. It's like palette. celery. I've got that jean, like the celery cilantro thing. I just. Yes. I gotta give a shout out for my little Hamilton beach bread thing. Like this is the easiest way to make bread. Like you just dump the ingredients in, and then like in a couple hours it just spits out a loaf of bread. Like that is awesome. But the thing that we learned is since there's no preservatives in it, it like doesn't last long you can only have it for like a week which i like that i mean yeah you know if you've gotten in a pretty good habit of just slicing it all up and yeah like i've been like freezing it you know? yeah i'll slice it and stick it in the freezer so then it does last longer okay the best part dumping everything in last time we almost ran out of room in the crock pot <laughs> okay it has been four hours. I'm so hungry. Yeah. Ooh, sheep oil in. Ooh, get that a stir. So yeah, we have been having a debate mm. because Graham always, I think he uses weird utensils I for just food. Use spoon. He uses for a spoon for more things than I would. Like, we eat like rice and ground turkey mm -hmm. bowls. It yeah. eats it with a spoon. I feel like it's, it's more like of a rice thing. It's just like chipotle. Like a chipotle or fork thing. That's true. <laughs> Cheers. Girl, take the potatoes! <laughs> How is it? Mm. Gosh, I'm really afraid of my lid. Mm. I just don't want it to be good. How hot was it? That's, I guess, the be question. Careful. I had blown on it for a bit, and I just let it hover over the rest, and I actually set it on the ice cube. So it was doable for sure. Mm -hmm. mm. So you're having problems with your lip. I'm having problems with the um, like little hook kind of attachment with my Invisalign. Oh yeah, Graham's been like cutting into my lip. Graham's been doing the Invisalign. Fun. What would you say the experience has been on that? Worth it, but also super annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's just a pain to have to clean it. You know? Yeah. Like that dental pod thing I bought is really cool. It's basically like a glorified tool recleaner, I think. But I was worried you were gonna be in a lot more pain than you were. I've been surprised I didn't really hear you say any anything about like your teeth being sore. Anytime I change the set, they're sore for yeah. sure. Dang. And that's every Monday or something, right? Mm -hmm. Gee. So it'll end up being a full year. I've got yeah. like I should switch tonight actually. And then um I think I'll have this is spicy. I got some mm -hmm. our trusty Taco Bell hot sauce on mm -hmm. the ready, but I don't think I need it. It's pretty, whew, it's got some kick. So, when you think of like a fall food, do you think of chili or like mm -hmm. soup? Chili and cinnamon rolls. And, and um, potato soup. I gotta make I um, love like a hearty potato soup. Oh, Tomato yeah. too. Dude, I need to make some sourdough bread bowls to mm -hmm. fill it with this chili. Yes. I'll, I'll work on that. It's like a week long process. I think that will do it for our little chili video. Yeah, it's a shame it's now 9.30. <laughs> I know, it takes a while, but hopefully you guys it's had a nice it. chill day. We just wanted to do our, this is our first vlog on this channel. So yeah. hopefully you guys like this content. Let us know if you want any more food videos and we will see you next time. Yep.